Hi friends welcome to our channel trending places Today we will showcase about Alaska the last frontier Around 13000 years ago the first people arrived in what is now Alaska They either walked or sailed from what is now Russia which was connected to Alaska by a 600 mile wide swath of land known as the Bering Land Bridge In 1784 Russians landed here and the United States bought the area for 2 cents an acre in 1867 until gold was discovered in 1872 many people thought the hard environment was a bad investment in 1959 Alaska became the 49th state of the United States Inuit telling it Hida, Aleut, Athabaskans, and Yupik are among the indigenous peoples who still live here. Anchorage, Alaska's largest city, is located on the Cook Inlet in the state's south central region. It's noted for its cultural attractions, including is the Alaska Native Heritage Center, which showcases traditional crafts, has dance performances, and shows reconstructions of indigenous communities' homes. The Chugach, Kenai, and Tokitna ranges, as well as neighboring wilderness areas and mountains, are all accessible from the city. Girdwood is a vacation town in the United States' state of Alaska, located on the southern outskirts of the municipality of Anchorage. Girdwood is unquestionably the greatest place to get away from it all and experience the best of Alaska. The small town of Girdwood, formerly known as Glacier City, has a long and illustrious history. The city and borough of Juneau, or simply Juneau, is the state capital of Alaska. It is a unified municipality and the second largest city in the United States by area, located in the Gastineau Channel and the Alaskan Panhandle. Juneau is a mountain town, a seaside settlement, and the United States' most scenic capital city. Juneau is a natural wonder, a wildlife hotspot, and a cultural jewel, with a history, art, music, and native heritage to match. Ketchikan is a community on Alaska's southern coast that faces the Inside Passage. A popular cruise route, it's famous for its many Native American totem poles, which can be found all across town. Mishti Fjords National Monument, which is close by, is a glacier-carved wilderness with snow-capped mountains, waterfalls, and salmon-spawning streams. It also has a diverse wildlife population. which includes black bears, wolves, and bald eagles. Sitka is one of Alaska's most stunning beach towns. 
It is located near the foothills of Mount Edgecumbe, a dormant, snow-capped volcano, and is known for its fishing and natural paths. Sitka may not be the first city that comes to mind when thinking of Alaska, but it is a true gem. It has beautiful national parks, an interesting history, and a variety of activities to help you get the most out of the beautiful landscape and terrain. Downhill skiing, snowboarding, cross country skiing, snowshoeing, ice skating, fat tire bicycling, and snowmobiling are all popular winter activities in Alaska. Winter brings lower prices on everything from hotels to rental vehicles and tours in many parts of Alaska. The Red King Crab, commonly known as the Kamchatka Crab or Alaskan King Crab, is a king crab species found in the Bering Sea and the Gulf of Alaska. It was first discovered in the Barents Sea. It has a one-dot artiojic chin meter leg span and is regularly targeted by fisheries. Denali National Park and Preserve has over 1,800 moose on the north side of the Alaska Range. Denali National Park and Preserve is unique not only because of the peak. The park is also home to 37 different mammal species, including lynx, mammoths, and arctic ground squirrels, as well as foxes and snowshoe hares, and 130 different bird species including the majestic golden eagle. Brown bears, particularly those living near the shore, are known to hunt for salmon. These bears demonstrate a variety of fishing methods. Before pinning down a passing fish, they may wait and watch the water. Alternatively, they may just dive and chase their prey. There are a few things to remember if a bear approaches you while you're fishing. Bears are attracted to splashing fish. If you have a fish on your line and a bear comes close, break the line or give it some slack to prevent splashing. Allowing a bear to take something from you is never a good idea.
Douglas can be found across Alaska. With the exception of the far north, where they are anticipated to expand their range as a result of climate change. Researchers have detected an explosion of beaver on the Baldwin Peninsula near Kosovo using satellite photography. In the late 1980, bison were reintroduced to the Yukon as part of a national campaign to reintroduce endangered animals. The herd has increased to 1,200 to 1,400 bison after the release of 170 bison. The herd's range has expanded to cover the watersheds of the Ashik, Sekulmun, and Hitchi lakes. A herd of wood bison can be seen along the Alaska Highway south of Watson Lake. And many Yukoners and visitors have had close encounters with them. On a brilliantly bright winter day, Sledding across a frozen river topped with virgin snow has a deep effect on the human soul. This small group, personal Alaskan dog sledding tour immerses you in the authentic Alaskan dog sledding culture. Away from the masses and the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It's only a 45-minute trip down the park's highway. One of Alaska's most gorgeous and well-kept winter highways. Mendenhall Glacier is a 13.6 Yojakchin mile long glacier located in Mendenhall Valley. About 12 miles from downtown Juneau in the United States state of Alaska. Since the end of the Little Ice Age, glaciers in southeast Alaska have been melting, with many of them being near to strike slip falls. When these glaciers melt, the land begins to rise causing the previously sutured faults to enclamp. Hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Do like and subscribe.